Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not resonate with you, okay? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. When are you going to do Pisces? When are you going to do Pisces? Well, it's time now. So what do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My hands are sticky. I just put my lotion on. Just for you. Anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? I don't know if you're blocking somebody. Because I saw block them. So I don't know who you're blocking. But maybe somebody. What do we have for Pisces? Oh my fucking God. I don't need to make shit up. What else do I got to say? What else do I got to say for you, Pisces? Before I started this reading, I heard, uh, block them. Block them. And I heard, you're getting sick of it. You're getting sick of it. You're getting sick of waiting. You're about getting sick of waiting. You're getting sick of it. You're getting sick of it. Sick of this shit. You sick of this shit? It's upside down because the way I'm holding the deck, but two-faced. You're dealing with somebody that is very two-faced. Oh, we got one fell off. An invitation is coming, Pisces. An invitation is coming. Oh, God. You have somebody around you that is very negative. This is somebody that is negative. It's uh, ignorant. This person's looking for a fight. Anyway, we're going to get uh, past, present, and future. All right? And then we're going to get your person, whoever you're dealing with. Ooh, past, four of wands. May have to do with a foundation, a commitment. Ooh, lovers in the, in the past. Recent past. Ace of swords, you're going to receive some truth. There's some sort of information coming out about a partnership, about a commitment. This has to do with commitment. May have to do with marriage, information, truth. Communicating, communicating, talking about marriage, talking about commitment, talking about options. I feel like you have other options. They may have other options. The lovers is a choice between two. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, one flipped over. Six of Wands in the present. That's a victory of some sort. King of Swords reversed. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Temperance, Sagittarius. Put my phone over there for a minute. What do we have for the future? Ten of Wands reversed, Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Holding on, holding on to what you have, holding on to your stability, holding on to your money in the future. You have a golden opportunity in the future, something big, something solid, something real, something permanent, long term. Okay, this is long term stability. You can relax. In the future, you're going to be able to relax. You're not going to be letting go of your money. You don't have to worry about it. I don't know if you're worried about somebody going after your money or going after your stability, which you could be. There could be somebody that's after it because... That's my coffee. My iced coffee. Anyway, you may have somebody that's after it. They're trying to take it or they're trying to take you to court. Or I feel like you do have somebody that is be aggressively after your money or your stability or something like that. What about your person? Let's talk about your person. Seven of Swords reversed. King of Wands reversed. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a cusp. Seven of Pentacles reversed. 
your challenge is your feelings. This is your challenge, the, the, the Knight of Cups, your feelings. You may be in your feelings. You may be, uh, your intuition is telling you something. This has to do with love. It has to do with your heart, your feelings. Um, you need to block somebody. We may have somebody here that is engaging in another relationship. You know, there's a choice between two lovers here. Maybe you receive the information that you need that tells you about this. The Ace of Swords is the truth. The truth, the truth about a commitment, the truth about a partner, the truth about a union. If you haven't received it yet, you're going to receive it very, very soon. You're going to receive some communication or information about a, uh, a lover, okay, because we have a lover here. We also have a soulmate connection. We do. I don't know if somebody is reuniting with a soulmate. Somebody could be reuniting with a soulmate. Um, cause there's a reunion here and you know, and I'm not sure if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has given up and I'm just being honest with you. We have the King of Wands reversed, the King of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Swords. I don't know if there's definitely some deception, getting caught, getting caught cheating, getting, coming clean. Um, you got somebody here that is not really investing. They're not putting in much effort or they've just given up. Maybe they're slipping away. They could be just slipping away. You know, something is slipping away for you. Something to do with the heart. So there's something to, following the heart. Something to do with the heart. You're dealing with somebody that is following their heart in a new direction. Um, whether it's you or them. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is... Um, I don't know if they're doing something behind your back. It feels like making an escape. There's some sort of escape here. Something about heaven as well. We have a couple of sevens. This is unrealistic. It's not practical. Watering a dead tree, it's dead. You know, it's dead. It's, it's like putting plans in action to leave. So I'm not sure if somebody is leaving. They're getting ready to leave. The time is up. And the time is up. And maybe maybe you're ready for that. Maybe you are ready for that. Anyhow, I feel like right now, right now, presently, you definitely may be dealing with somebody that is abusive, we get mean, or they're lying, or they're not telling the truth. The King of Swords reversed right in the middle. That's a lack of clarity. It is dishonest, or maybe somebody could be dishonest with themselves. There's some sort of abuse here, mental abuse, mental manipulation. Somebody wants to win. They want to win. They want to win some sort of battle, and they'll say or do whatever they got to do to win. Okay? This is all part of the change. It's all part of the evolution. Things are about to change because right away, soon, very, very soon with a temperance card. You just wait. You just be patient, okay? Something is going to come out that you uh, may have been unclear about. You've been carrying a heavy weight. You've been carrying a heavy burden. This has really, really weighed you down. You're about to release it. This burden is about to be released. You're going to be able to relax. You're about to see some relief. You're about to feel some relief in the future. It feels like you're going down a new path to prosperity and abundance and success. Um, there is financial stability here as well. So if you are worried about your money, I don't feel like you have anything to worry about in the future because releasing this burden, releasing this baggage, okay, here's your release. You let go of whatever this is that's weighing you down. It's really been, and it feels like you've tried really, really, really hard to make this successful to the point where it's really overwhelmed you, right? It's caused you a lot of stress. You know, you've had to work really hard at something and it's really caused you uh, maybe to forget about yourself. Anyhow, I feel like, you know, this is where you drop that weight, you drop that burden and this is, and then you receive something. This is a gift. It's a new investment. It's prosperity. It's abundance. It's, it's something permanent. It's something you can put in the bank. Okay, something you can hold on to, something real, something stable. This is stability. It's financial stability. It's something you can really, really uh, hold on to. Okay, so if you've been struggling with some sort of financial hardship, because this is the Five of Pentacles right here, if you've been struggling financially, as soon as you drop this, as soon as you drop whatever this is, you start to stabilize. Okay, you, you get the gift of stability. Okay, it's like boom, gone. Whew. 
relief, relief. So anyhow, um, I feel like you've been in some sort of contract with somebody. Maybe, I don't know if you were married to them or you were living with them. And there's some sort of information coming out that changes everything. And I see the change with the temperance card. That is a, that's a, that's a major life change. It comes after the death. Okay, it comes after the death card. I feel like uh, you're going to need to go with the flow. You're going to, you're going to be needing to accept that something is over. You have somebody here that is probably abusive with the King of Swords reverse. This person is, is, uh, Maybe this person is a bully. They could be abusive. They are probably mentally abusive, verbally abusive, neglectful, um, clueless, ignorant, uh, rude, uh, doesn't tell the truth, lies a lot. Um, and I feel like this person will do take any means that they can to win because I have I see this battle here. I also feel public recognition. It's like this person has a lot of uh, support, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, and it's probably causing you some sort of discomfort because this person has a lot of public recognition or they have a lot of support. That's part of the abuse. Um, Temperance. It's a time of change, profound life change, going with the flow, blending to create harmony. I feel like you're, you are definitely headed towards a place of harmony. You are. I feel like you're going to be releasing something, managing your feelings. You're going to need to manage your feelings because somebody is really going to poke you in some way with that King of Swords reverse. That is somebody that will say anything. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Your person, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they're giving up or they have gave up. They may be planting their seeds someplace else. The season is over. They, they're, they're not really invested. They're not investing anymore. They're giving their heart. I feel like their heart is investing in something else. Their heart isn't in it anymore. Their heart isn't healthy. It's an unhealthy heart. It is. The King of Wands reversed next to the King of Cups. King of Wands reversed is unhealthy. Whoever you're dealing with is maybe angry as well. They may have some anger issues. You know, it feels like their health is declining. There could also be another woman or another man here. Could be another man. We may even have somebody here that is engaging in a same-sex relationship and they've been hiding it and they get caught. Coming out. Coming out. Somebody may be coming out. Somebody is deaf. Something is about to be revealed that... Uh, it almost, it almost feels like it's a tower. It forces a change. It forces a relocation of some sort. This is a cutout, getting cut out, getting cut out with the King of Swords reverse. I feel like somebody is getting cut out. Or they have been cut out. I don't know. Maybe they've been cut out and they're really angry and they're upset and they're going to reveal something. And I don't know if it's being, if they're revealing it about you or you're revealing it about them. Something is going to be revealed. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed that, um, and it, ha it may have to do with money. I do, I think it does have to do with money. That's what causes the reveal. Maybe it's a fight over money that causes this huge argument that blows things out of proportion. And, and, it, and I think it has to do with somebody of the same sex. However, I don't know how that resonates with you. It's like, I don't know, for some of you, I think it's a same sex relationship that is being revealed. And maybe it's being revealed because somebody isn't, isn't, you know, getting the attention that they need and boom, things explode. Um, 
there's definitely going to be uh, an exchange here. I feel like you're going to be, um, there's going to be a conflict with an individual that is very, very arrogant that hasn't been telling the truth. This is going to cause things to end and probably force you to accept that something is over. Letting go is going to bring you peace, it's going to bring you harmony, and it's going to bring you stability. You do have an, a gain here, that you have a gain. You are about to gain something. You're going to receive a stable offer from somebody. And it's going to bring you relief. Now, this could even be a job offer. I don't know what it is. But you're going to receive a stable offer from somebody that uh, brings you some sort of relief. And so for some of you, you may have been working with an individual that was draining you. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups. I don't know if it's a child. There's something to do with children here. I think we have somebody here that is very, very wounded. That is going to, and maybe it's a, somebody that has a wounded child, a wounded inner child. We have somebody, a wounded child. I mean, the seven, the, the nine of wands next to the six of cups. If we have like a wounded or acts like a child, we have somebody here that is wounded. They were wounded when they were a child, you know, and they're angry. This is an angry person. Maybe you're dealing with a narcissist or you're the narcissist. There's somebody here that is a narcissist. There's also a reconnection with the past. We have somebody here that is giving up and they are reconnecting with the past. They are. They are. They're going to be there's a reconciliation. Maybe it's with somebody from a past life. There is a pat there's a soulmate connection here with somebody from the past. And this could be a past life connection. So it might be somebody that you never even dated before. I don't know. Or it could be them. It's actually on your person. It's on your person. So I think maybe your person is going to be reconciling with somebody from their past. Maybe it's a past. I do feel like it's a past life connection. It's your person. Your person is reconnecting with somebody from their past. It's a past life connection. I feel like you need to accept and you need to allow and you need to go with the flow. You maybe need, if you want victory in your life, perhaps you need to let them go. We do have block them. Block them. Let them go. Let them go. If they're weighing you down and they're holding you down, let them go. You're going to have success no matter what. This is a blessing. The ace of pe releasing is a blessing. It's a blessing because you're you're going to be stable. You're going to be solid. You're going to be secure. I feel like you were in a happy commitment with somebody in the past. You were happy. Maybe you thought you were going to, this was everything you ever asked for. But I feel like there's some sort of information that is going to come out that is going to... Uh, it's it's gonna it's gonna cause a transition. This is a transition. Six of oh my god, this is unbelievable. If you were to look up this card, the meaning of this card is transition. I don't need these cards. There is, and there ha, there is going to be a transition. Somebody is moving away. They're moving on. This is a time of transition for you. Accept. It's right next to the Temperance card. Accept. Allow. Go with the flow. You will have peace if you if you let it go. You will have peace and harmony, and a big, huge blessing is going to come to you. This is a blessing. 
you the biggest blessing of all I think is relief I mean it's wow wow this is this is gonna release the weight okay the, this is like oh my god whew whew and I feel like it once you release it you your your prosperity grows you know you're in, in your abundance and your security you start to feel whole again and you'll see an increase of your own abundance by letting this go. This has been holding you down. It has. And there's abuse here. Moving on from the abuse. Moving on. So Pisces, I feel like this is a week where there's going to be a transition. I don't even know where my phone is. So here we go. So get prepared. Get prepared for that. Somebody is reconnecting with an individual from their past. And it's probably going to be revealed. Or this person just may be giving up and they may just come clean. Or somebody is in a same-sex relationship and they come clean about that. We could have somebody here that is hurt. You know, they're not getting the attention that they need. And boom, and here it comes. Something is about to be revealed that breaks you free from some sort of situation that has been weighing you down. And if it isn't this week, it's coming soon. This is a dead end. It is an absolute dead end. With the seven of pentacles right around the corner, it's in reverse. There's no growth here. This isn't unrealistic. It's over. Going someplace else. Good luck.